Obviously, sandwiches are a huge part of that thing too. I'm going to try to get some out. So it's going to be a bit of chips. Back to my channel so at the moment Carti is sat in her chair and the time is half five so I'm gonna start a night routine and I mean this isn't what happens every day but it's something close to what goes off so at the moment she's watching TV in her chair and she's rather content right now and then about half six I'll give her a bath I get her ready for bed, but as well as that, I'll just join in the sock play with her as well. Hello, beautiful. Hello, beautiful. My chair does swing on its own, but I've just got batteries that came today, so I don't really want to waste them. But I can stop the chair for a second, right? And I'll zoom out. And it like it swings on its own, but she don't really like it being slow. And I don't think these batteries are quite fast enough to swing her. Mm -hmm. Then she's just watching like ABCs and stuff like that. This is just what she normally does before bed. Uh, she's been up since like half, th like three, half three today. So she's doing well at staying up at the moment, but she's getting tired. So I'm hoping that she'll stay up till about seven. Um, and then obviously at half six, I'll give her a bath. And put her to bed. Change the rooms around and I now sleep here and hopefully I'll get a bed like base soon. Cause the bed base I did have that's broken, which is why I'm now on the floor. And don't mind that, that is, I think it's eyeliner. I think it's, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's eyeliner. If it's not, it's like this candle that I had. No, I didn't burn it on the bed. It was just, I was trying to clean, it was a candle wax thing. I was trying to clean the holder of the thing. And this is her little cot. I don't have this side up yet because the bits that, obviously for this side, I can't seem to get it to fit properly. So I'm waiting to get some help to put this up. But that's why it's this way, so then she doesn't fall out. Um, and obviously this doesn't go this way, it goes like around the back there, and then it attaches to this side as well. Um, but until then it can just stay there. Uh, she sleeps like obviously at the top. I just love the bedding. She doesn't have a pillow yet, because obviously it's not meant to Babies aren't meant to have pillows yet. Um, but that's her little snuggle. And it rattles. She doesn't like dummies. Um, she just likes to play with it. So I just like to keep these in here in, in case she wakes up. Uh, this isn't one of them musical ones or one that turns automatically, so I've got to hit it. But it's nice because when she goes to bed, she likes to pretty much play with it. And I like these as well. Because if I close the door, that's what it looks like at night for her when she's in bed. So. And then these glow up in the dark. Because um, it's not dark here, you can't see it, but they don't really glow up as much as like in the dark as what they should do. Um, but they're quite nice at night when obviously you lay in bed and you can see little stars, so it's all right. The whole plan for this room is to, I mean, this ceiling isn't actually um, flat, which I was hoping. So 
if I'm going to do what I plan on doing anyway, I'll have to put it on the wall. But it'll be on the wall where the glow in the dark stars are already. So this wall here um, was just going to be like left or painted or whatever. But because obviously the ceiling isn't flat, I can't put the wallpaper up there. So I'm going to put like, that's if I stay here long enough. Um, what I'm going to do is get some glow in the dark star wallpaper. So it's like star wallpaper that glows in the dark, but it's not like that where you have to stick them on. It's engraved into basically the wallpaper and just stick it from obviously that corner to there and it'll just be this wall here that'll be covered. So then while she's laid next to it, she's got stars, which I think will look really pretty. Um, then I'm hoping to get some star curtains, which also glow in the dark as well for her. Um, I might get a little carpet that glows in the dark, again stars, and have that on the floor here somewhere. Um, and then depending on if I keep this room or I move back into the other room, I'm, like if I stay in this room, either depending on where the bed will go, um, I might, and like if the bed, if this bed ends up going here, which I don't know if it will or not, but if it went here, TV will be there. Um, if it's to go here by the radiator, it'll go up there. And if the bed's to go here, um, where the plug socket is, then the TV will be there or in this general area. But I'm hoping it won't stay. I'm hoping to have the other bedroom back. I'm just trying to sort that out at the moment. The other room's turned into more of a storage room at the moment, so. Yeah, this room's turned like into a storage room at the moment, so I'm just trying to sort it out really. But the bed, when I first moved in here, um, was like in this general area between that plug socket and that one there, so they were here. Um, and then, like, it came up quite far to be fair, but yeah, that's how it was. So at the moment, this is what it is. So it's like 10 past 6 now, so I'm going to start running Cartier a bath and then hopefully um, she'll start getting relaxed, ready for bed, so.